Hello there. Um, welcome back. Um, I want to carry on with the, the little theme of Reaper tips. And this is one that I've been meaning to kind of do for a while, but it keeps slipping my mind. It's something I picked up from the Reaper forums. And when I read this, the, the person who wrote it in the forums, I'm really sorry, I can't remember who it was, but described this as a power user tip. And um, it's something that I've used ever since I found out about it. I've used it and it's how to install Reaper. Now we all know you can just click and install, does that fine. I think this mainly applies to Windows, don't quote me on it, I'm not a Mac user, I have a MacBook that I use for work but I can't remember how I installed Reaper, I think I just installed it however it let me install it. So as a Windows user this probably pertains more to Windows and what will I'm going to show you how to do is instead of having Reaper spread out amongst your documents folders and your list that folders and all the rest of it, how to condense it all into one folder and have everything together in one folder. And you can install it anywhere on any hard drive that you choose. You don't have to have it on your C drive. It can be on your, you know, your D drive or whatever it is you want. To place this okay and the reason i like this is that i can also install all my vst plugins in the same folder i just create a little folder within the folder you'll see it will become clear so let's just do this and I, i'll show you i'm going to install this obviously i've already got reaper installed but i'll do a dummy install and show you how this works so we've got up here we've got the latest version of reaper downloaded so i'm going to double click it anyway, so we're going to agree now I'm going to click here this is very important I'm going to create a portable install and I'm going to go browse I'm going to put this onto um, an external drive it doesn't have to be an external drive so I'm going to go put it onto this local disk P that I have uh, I'm going to want to create a folder, so I'm going to create a Reaper, obviously. And obviously, like I said, it's important, this is a portable install. Now, don't worry, I know a lot of you are saying, oh, that limits things, don't you all will become clear. So we click Next. Now, I understand you cannot select things like rewire, reroute, etc., or a desktop icon. We'll come to that, okay? So, what we want to do is just install it. Okay? So, this is very much the same as installing a, a portable install on a USB stick, except we're doing it onto a hard drive, okay? And this would, you know, be a C drive, D drive, whatever, wherever you want to install this, okay? So we don't want to run it now. So then what we want to do, we've installed that portable install. Go back in. And we will install it again. But this time we don't do the portable install. And we will go back to... So it's on that local disk P where we installed it before. We go back into Reaper, just select the Reaper folder, click OK, click Next, and go Yes, ignore it. Now, this time, because we're not doing a portable install, um, we can choose to install Rewire, Reroute, a desktop icon. Start menu shortcuts, associate with RPP files. I'm not going to do the start menu shortcuts in the icon, obviously, because I've got Reaper installed already. But, you know, these you obviously you can now do, as you can see. So we click install. We now have Reaper. So we come out of that. So what we'll do, I open up my file explorer, I'll bring it up here. So we put that onto our local disk P. Where is that Reaper? 
and as you can see there it is it's our full install now it's not a portable install anymore this is a full install but everything is in one folder in one place on one hard disk not spread out amongst documents and all the rest of it all over your hard drives and just a really cool tip that I found to, as a way of installing Reaper that I've used ever since I discovered it, then it's just great. Cheers, folks. See you in the next one. Bye now.